No. Alexander. Alexander. Green All right. Bell. Yes. Alexander, uh, what's your favorite? Uh, did you want to maybe say uh, maybe a few poetic kind of lyrics or whatever about Martin Luther King? Um, I'm, 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 I'm no, no poet, poet so, so uh, I'll do your best. Neither am I, but I can do it. Okay, uh, let's see. Make your Martin, <laughs> Martin Luther King. Huh, where do I go from there? I don't really know. Uh, Martin, Martin Luther, Luther King, racism feels the sting. Uh, <laughs> he carries the ring. Um, let Let's freedom, do the thing. Let freedom sing. Uh, on on the eagle's wing, you know I could yeah. go on forever. We so could, I could go on forever too, but I'm just let Rocco do it. I really, I really have to say you're really good at this. Uh, much better than me. So, okay. So, well, what, what's your purpose for your call? Why did you call? No, us I, no I, I was kind kind of just wondering if you uh, had a, had any uh, uh, opinions on the uh, on the uh, candidates now in the United States for the 2016 election. Oh, that's a good question. The only president that ever mattered to me was Martin Luther King Jr. I don't that, really care about anybody. That is anybody. probably my favorite it's, president. It's, it's really, really too bad, bad he's, he's not running, running, of course. Well, so, No, well, you can't run twice. Yeah, he already won I can't run time. twice. Yeah. <laughs> Grover Cleveland did. Yeah, he did. Did you know that? He, and, uh, he of course, served uh, two non-consecutive terms. Did you know that? Yeah, I actually knew that one. And uh, oh, I didn't know actually that uh, Roosevelt also uh, run twice. He. Uh, mm. Yes. Yeah. 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 Well, I like Ike. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Um, Maybe. Uh, are you feeling the burn, Alexander? I'm more on the burn side, of course. Or are you going to uh, play the trump card? Not really feeling the trump at the moment. Or are you uh, going to roll the piggy up the Hillary? Uh -huh. I kind of feel like, you know, a trump is more of kind of kind of a parody at the moment. He's a little bit too extreme. Are you going to go on the I cruise so. control? No, it's the same. Uh, no cruise control for you. Okay. Well, what about, are you going to go down to Rubio's to get a fished Marco? What about the uh, O'Malley Valley? Are you going to go there? Uh, that that sounds, sounds like more of my thing, really. Uh, are you, or are you going to go, a, are you going to have a, a bird in the hand, but a jeb in the bush? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A bird in the hand, a little bit more yeah, now. So uh, I'm not actually... Gonna vote uh, since I'm in uh, in Norway, but uh, oh, you, wish you, you luck. You can find so, a way. Yeah, find a way. Yeah, find a way. Yeah, of course, Cap I can something. just apply for a citizenship now and uh, just hope for yeah, the best. This is, come on down to our voter polls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Laid back. They don't check shit. Say your name no, okay. is Tom, and they'll just. Hey, real Tom. <laughs> hey, nobody show this to anybody, but I've rigged the voting booth so many times. Yeah. Like, I've done that. I've oh. hacked stuff. I've done it all. So nice. yeah, don't worry about it. It's easy. No, okay. It's a cakewalk. Jeb Bush could do it. <laughs> Jeb Bush, he could do it. I'll uh, take your advice and I'll go votes. Okay, come vote and let me know who you voted for. Let me know if you were feeling the burn or you were playing the trump card. Okay? Yeah. I'll let, let you know. know. Thanks. When it's right. But make yeah. sure you get all the facts before you vote. It's very important. Yeah. We take voting get very all, seriously in this country. Get all the facts before you hack it. Very seriously. I seriously. always take my voting really seriously. I let you know that. I always oh. do my research and I nice. always, you know, uh, really look up. Uh, up on all the uh, on the causes and all that stuff. It's yeah. uh, important to really, you know, be awake he during those the moments. When, uh, whenever I vote, yeah, I'm gonna vote for yeah. Bernie Sanders, and I can't wait to turn in the vote because I'm gonna go here. This yeah. is your burn notice. Oh, yeah, oh, I'm that's kill pretty him with good. That. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, okay. Do you think he will win, or 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 should I say, can win? There are still, I think there are a lot of people who are still in the whatever that like. There's no way he's gonna get there. I, I don't think it's impossible. I, I think it'll be think hard. He, I think he's gonna do it. It's a really long way to go, of course, and sure. uh, he's kind of on the uh, on the left extreme side again. So he's not really a really safe candidate, I think. Right. So I don't think anyone is a safe candidate. This yeah, time. you not know, really. that's uh, true. I think in many ways. I think. If Bernie Sanders beats Hillary, yeah. he is 100% going to be president. Yes, I agree. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's true. Think. So, will he do it? I hope so. Will I listen to the president? No, because to me, Martin Luther King <laughs> is the only president that ever mattered. And yeah. he should be on the 
bill. You know, I think Bernie Sanders right now is more popular than Obama was in 2008 against Hillary. Yeah. So think about that. Well, Obama, yeah. Obama, Obama fucked up the America, the American nation. He destroyed America. He didn't do anything, and he killed everyone. And who's left? So yeah, he's yeah. a devil. I bought a Halloween mask where he's got devil horns, <gasps> and I'm gonna wear it to the. Wow. I'm gonna wear it to the booths when I vote for Bernie. I'm gonna go. Here's your burn notice, and I'm putting on a satanic mask, and uh, I'll, and I'm gonna hurt someone at the stand because that's what Obama did. He basically killed our, our children. Yeah, that's basically, yeah. That he's he literally killed our children. Hey, Alexander, where are you from? I'm from, from, from uh, Norway. Norway. Rocco, I will give you everything I own if you can tell me who is the president or whatever they have there in Norway. Go uh, ahead. Norway? Oh, Go please, ahead. Tell please tell me. me. Please, please tell, tell me. me. Yeah, Yar. Is it Yar? Yar, uh, close. It's uh, Erna. It's a uh, it's a female uh, prime uh, prime minister. minister. Yeah. yeah. So um, what's her name? Not even a president. Uh, Erna Solberg. Erna Sol. You're close. Darn. Really close. I, I was not, gonna give you my kids, Rocco. but he blew it. I don't know. Yeah. He, he blew it. <laughs> no one's touching my shit. Kojima was in so. San Diego today? Yeah, apparently. I didn't realize that. Sony San Diego that he was at. Really? Yeah, he's here. He's here right now. He's going to come down to the MLK Street? Dude, I should send. I don't want to give away any plans online. I should drop a, maybe drop an email. Drop a phone call. A little text. Text will do ya. I'm going to say right now, if Kojima comes on the stream, there's no way racism could go on. No. That, that would, would be make my day, the end. Okay, I have something to work on. Okay. I'm not going to say anything. Well, but. I'm going to go now and work on some stuff too. Okay. Let me know if you get, if you, that thing that we talked about three seconds ago, mm -hmm. that's a secret. Let me know if that happens. Okay. And I'll, I'll make some things happen. Okay. Okay. Thank you everybody for helping us end uh, racism and, um, feel and the, thanks for uh, oh, taking my call. Thank you for calling and enjoy, enjoy Norway and your prime minister. Hope she's yeah, great. Thank I, you. I've heard good things. Feel the burn. Feel the burn. That's right. Okay.